Hello and welcome to this masterclass on Cypress. So in this part, we will continue with the rest of the topics. Uh, the last masterclass in the last part, we discussed on file reading and writing in Cypress. So if I show you the topics, so all this we have covered in the earlier sessions, all this we have done. And in the last session, we started with command line interface. We looked at how do we run our Cypress tests from command line. We looked at different options we can do with command line. We then looked at package.json file. What is package.json? What are the contents? What is the significance? And we also looked at package log.json file. And then we did file reading and writing. Uh, we are yet to do file upload and download so that we will cover in this session. And uh, we will also learn about reporting in Cypress. So let's get started and let us start with file upload in Cypress. Now uh, file upload, there is a plugin that we can use for Cypress and we can do file upload uh, using that plugin in Cypress. So we, I have divided this topic into two sections. First section is the setup part where we will get the plugin, we will install it and we will uh, set it up. And then we will create a test to do a file upload. So we have to install this plugin that is cypress-file-upload. And if you uh, just go to your browser and say cypress-file-upload. So let me show you cypress-file-upload. And it will take you to this cypress-file-upload NPM project. And you will also find some more links. So this is the project and this is what we use. This is the utility. This is the package which adds custom Cypress commands that allows you to make uh, an abstraction on how exactly you upload files. So basically this is a package. And once you add this package in your Cypress project, you will get some uh, custom Cypress commands that we can use to do file upload. So here uh, you can see these are the steps and this is same as I have mentioned here. So I will say npm install and you can use this flag save dev so that this uh, package or this dependency will go in the dev dependency. Let me also open my project on VS code and here I will open a terminal. So I have opened this terminal here. And now here, I will say, I'll just, I can copy this from here, npm install hyphen hyphen save dev Cypress file upload. And this will download and set up this package. You can check once this is done, you can go to your package.json file and you should see this Cypress file upload dependency has come under the dev dependencies. So this is step number one. Step number two is just in case you are using TypeScript, you have to go to your tsconfig.json file and uh, there you will find compiler options and there you should add Cypress file upload. So this is only for people who are using TypeScript uh, for Cypress. I have already shown you the video for uh, Cypress with TypeScript. So if you go on my website, automationstepbystep.com, and when you scroll down, you will see here, there is a link for Cypress. So when you go here, it will take you to my YouTube playlist uh, on Cypress, where I have one video for each topic on Cypress. And here, there is a video on Cypress with TypeScript. So in case you have set up Cypress with TypeScript, you will have this tsconfig file where you can add this. You will see a types a statement a entry. You will already see Cypress there. You can also add this one. So this is optional only for people who are using Cypress. Step number two, uh, people who are using Cypress with TypeScript. Then uh, we have to go to our Cypress support commands.js file. So if you go to your support folder under your Cypress folder in your project, you will see a file called commands.js. And here you can 
uh, we can add custom commands or we can overwrite the existing built-in Cypress commands. So here we have to add this import statements. And again, if you are following this here, you can copy this from here as well. So this is what we need to add in, by, in our commands.js file. So I'll just add it at the end. Everything, all of this is already commented out. So I'll go at the end and add it here and save it. Then step number four is we have to check this command, uh, check the command.js is imported in Cypress support index.js file. So if you are, have this index.js file under Cypress support folder. So if I go to my cypress.support folder, I don't have that file. I have e2e.js file. And here I have this import commands. So this is what we need. Uh, if you are using a Cypress version earlier than version 10, you will see a index.js file under the Cypress support folder. And there you can add this. If it is commented out, you can uncomment. Most of the times you will already find this. If it is not there, you can add, or if it is commented, you can uncomment. And if you are using Cypress version 10 or above, you can just go to your e2e.js file. And here you will see this is already added. Then uh, this is, this was the setup part. So we have got the package, we have installed it, set it up. Now we will go to the test part where we will create a test for doing a file upload. So we, we will create a new test. I'll go to my E2E folder and here I will do a right click and say new file. And I will say this is file upload and download demo.cy.js. So this is what I have created here, file upload and download demo.cy.js. Here I will very quickly create a test. Also, you can add at the top, uh, you can add reference types equals Cypress. This will help for auto completion of the Cypress commands. So I'll just add it here. So here I will say file upload test or file upload demo and I'll start a function. And here I have created a new test. And the first thing is I will uh, visit a web page or a website where I can do a file upload. So let me check. Okay, so I will go to, I will go to this demo application, try testing this. And here uh, there is an option to do a file upload here. So I'll copy this link and say here, cy.visit in this test, I will give this cy.visit. And here I will save and let me run it. So you can uh, start your Cypress app using NPX Cypress open. In my case, it is already running. So I will start the testing. So it starts the Cypress test runner and this is the file we want to run. So I will click here and it will start the test that is file upload test. So as of now, uh, it goes to this link, which is fine. Now here I have to get the locator of the uh, choose file or browse button. So you have to find, you have to first get the the file upload button, it can be a, a, a browse button, a file upload, whatever is the button which is used to browse and add the file from your system. So it can be a button or a link. So I will go to this locator or selector playground and I will go to the button which is choose file and I will get a locator. So here it has given me this locator for this button. I'll copy this in my script. So here I will say cy.get 
and this is the locator and i will say dot attach file now this attach file is coming from the package that we have added so here this is the command we say after locating the button object or the link object that uh, will browse the file we will say attach file and give the file name now here in case your file is within the fixtures folder if it is in the fixture folder then you just have to give the file name or if it is in a, a subfolder under fixture folder you have to give the subfolder and the file name if it is anywhere outside the fixture folder folder then you will have to give the absolute path or relative path if it is inside your project folder so here uh, i'm going to i'm going to uh, copy a file or maybe i can just use this one example.json this will work i can try uploading this file example.json json which is already here i will try with a different file format as well but as of now let me just say attach file and here i will say the file is example.json and because it is directly under under the fixtures folder so i can give the file name directly so i will save and rerun the test and let us see so here if you see in the test yes you can see here it has uploaded example.json file let me try it with a different file i will open the fixtures folder i will do a right click and say reveal in file explorer so that it opens here and i will go inside this and i will copy a different file let us say this png file uh, which is a image i will copy this file here and now i will try to upload this file so it has already come here in the fixtures folder and i will say here the file is this is the file name and i will say i will save and rerun that test and yes you can see it has uploaded the file here so let me do it again and show you so it has uploaded the file okay so this is how we can do a file upload now let us also see how to do a file download in cypress so again here we have two parts the first one is the setup part where we will add the package uh, which is a, a, a third party uh, package that we can add like we did for file download and then we will do the test creation so here we have cypress download file this is a plugin and we can say npm install cypress download file to get this plugin or extension also if you go to your uh, if you just search for cypress download file and you can see this cypress download file npm packages here and you can also copy all these commands from here uh, if you go to the cypress.io website here also you can find uh, the plugins so if i go to documentations and go to plugins so this will take to you to the plugins page and here you can see a lot of plugins are there and if i search for download file you can see cypress download file is here and if i go it will take me to this github page for this cypress download file and here also you can get all the installation details from here or you can get it from this npm page as well so let us do it from here this is the command so i will go to my terminal and i will say here i will say npm install cypress download file and this will download the package and you can also check in your package.json file you should see this cypress download has come here this is here and then step number two is 
we will go to our commands.js file and we will add this in our commands.js file. So again, you can copy this directly from here. I will go to commands.js, which is under the support folder here. And you can just add this and save. And then next, we can go to the Cypress plugins index.js file, and then we can add the following. And if you are using a version 10 or above of Cypress, you can directly go to e2e.js. And here, this is what we need. You can copy it from here. And then I will say, Uh, let me check, do we need to add it in index.js file? Uh, there is no information here. Uh, yeah, index.js in case of Cypress version earlier to 10, but if it is 10, I think it should go here in my e2e.js. So this is what I will add. I'm going to comment out this before each function, otherwise it will run for every test. So this is what I have added here. And then this is this was the setup part. So these are the three steps for setup. And now we will do the test. So you can create a new test or uh, you can create a new file or you can create a new test in the existing file. So I'm just going to create a new test in this file itself where we added the Cypress file upload test. I will say file download test here. And then at the top, I will mention reference types Cypress download file, and you, you can copy it from here as well. This will help for auto suggestion and code completion for the Cypress download file commands. And then we will add a command to download a file, which is cy.download file. So if I say here, cy dot download file you can see it is coming and then uh, i will just copy this so there is already an example here uh, it is going to this file or going to this particular image online and getting this image so this is the image it is getting let me just copy this as it is and try it out i'll copy this and add it here. And let me copy again. Yeah, it is copied here. And here, I will say, so you can see this is cy.download file, and this is the link for the file, and it goes to my downloads folder, and the file name uh, that it, gives to the file is example.jpg. So basically it will create a folder, my downloads under the root project folder. Let us try this out. I will go to my Cypress test runner and rerun the test or the file. Uh, here it says there are some exceptions. Uh, let me check and see. I don't know if it is because of the reference types. Uh, the other things looks okay. We already have the Cypress download file commands added. If I try to check cy.download file, yeah, it is already here. So this should not be the problem. I will try again. Uh, still there is an error, let us see. Okay. So uh, I believe uh, this is because this uh, that we have added in e2e.js, they should not go here. Here in case, so in case you are using uh, Cypress version before version 10, then you can directly go to your Cypress folder, plugins folder, you will see a plugins folder. And in your 
under your plugins folder, they will be index.js file and you can just copy this and this should work. But if you are using Cypress version 10 or above, then uh, this particular statement, this line, the first one, which is creating a const constant download file and it is saying requires this particular plugin. This will go in our Cypress config.js file and at the top, you can see there is already this const define config require Cypress. This will go here and the rest of the part will come in this setup node events. So this part, uh, basically this part on task download file, this will come here. This should come here. So this is how we add the plugins and I will remove everything from this e2e.js file. And I'll just check again, this is our test and we will save and run again. And yes, looks like this time it is working fine. It is able to do file download. And here, if I go and check, if I go and refresh, yes, we have got this my downloads and here we have got this image or this file downloaded. So this is how you can do a file download with Cypress. Okay, now uh, we will see how to generate HTML reports. Okay, so uh, in Cypress, we can create some really awesome HTML reports using some uh, libraries, some external libraries. We can create really good reports in Cypress. Now uh, for this particular topic, uh, we will see how to install Mocha Awesome Reporter. This is a reporter that we can very easily integrate with our Cypress project and it will help us to uh, create reports. We can we will do the configurations. We can merge multiple JSON report files. We, we can generate a single HTML report files file from uh, these multiple JSON report file. And uh, we will we see options when we get these kind of errors like unexpected token in JSON, all these things we can see. And we will also see how to run the uh, reporting commands or the commands to generate reports in our package.json file. So earlier I have shown you that we can create scripts in our package.json file in the script section of our package.json file. We can uh, add the scripts. So here you can see, we have seen all these these scripts we added in our package.json file. So we can do the same thing for our report command. We can add everything here and we can generate the reports. Now this particular session that is how to generate HTML reports and all these uh, steps, how to install Mocha Awesome Reporter, how to configure it, how to uh, you know create JSON files, merge it, create a HTML file. All this I have covered in a separate video. So if you go on my website, automationstepbystep.com and you go to the, uh, the Cypress playlist, it will take you to the YouTube playlist on Cypress that I had created earlier, which has uh, one video for each topic of Cypress. Here you will find this video that is HTML reports. So here I have shown all these steps, all the, the entire process. Also, it has this solution for what to do when you face these kind of issues like unexpected token in JSON file at position zero. All, uh, all these issues I will show you. I have already created this session here. So you can watch this one. And here, I will uh, stop this particular session here. And I hope it was very useful. Please do hands on. Let me know if you face any issues and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.